you don't have time to practice golf, but you love to play on the weekend and take the money off your buddies. How can you set up an effective training circuit in your office or at your house that will lead to swing changes sticking? This effective practice circuit can be done indoors. It's not only going to show you drills that you can do that will help you change your swing, it's going to show you how you have to practice them so that these swing changes stick. Eric, let's go, station one. Station one is a back swing pivot drill. All you need for this is a chair. If you don't have a chair, just use your golf bag. You're gonna set it up off of your trail foot. So my hip would almost be touching this chair at a dress. For players that tend to slide too much in the back swing, the goal of this is to make practice swings feeling like you're increasing the space from where you start at a dress. For station two, you're gonna need a band of some sort. We use super flex bands. So this is gonna be one of their lighter resistance bands. And what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna put it underneath my lead foot. I'm gonna make sure there's a little bit of tension and I'm gonna actually take my grip with the band on the back side of my grip here. Now when I make my back swing, the goal of this is to feel like I'm maintaining width. So I'm feeling like my hands aren't collapsing and getting too close to my body, but I'm actually having to fight the resistance of the band to maintain width so that I'm increasing my rotation at the top of the swing as well as keeping width so that in transition I give myself a better chance of shallowing the club. Station three is medicine ball throws. If you don't have access to a medicine ball, no big deal. Grab a soccer ball, basketball. If you need a couch cushion, use that. It doesn't really matter. But the goal of this drill stays the same. You're gonna find a wall and you're gonna try to throw it about eight feet high in line with your target. The reason we're doing this is because it's gonna help us better load from our trail side into our lead side, as well as get us into the proper amount of extension, maintaining our arms in front of our body as we rotate. It'll look like this. After you've done maybe three on your right side, go ahead and switch to your non-dominant side and do the same thing. If you wanna make these swing changes stick, it's very important that you engage in this effective practice circuit at the appropriate level. So, if you're a beginner golfer, you will do five of the drills that Eric's shown you at station one, five of the drills that Eric's shown you at station two, and five reps of the drill that Eric's shown you at station three. If you're an intermediate golfer, you will do three reps of drill one, three reps of drill two, three reps of drill three. And if you're an advanced golfer, you will do one, one, and one. If you are fortunate enough to have a net or some wiffle balls and can hit shots inside, hit a shot between each change of station. Science has proven that just hitting ball after ball is not an effective way to change your golf swing. If you truly want to change your swing, Add spacing, variability, and challenge into your practice, just like Eric's shown you in this video. Good luck.